I, I wouldn't say frustrating. I'm really pleased with the guys, the way the guys played. It kind of snowballed a little bit on us today. Um, Rass has been so awesome for us. When we were talking his last, before his, this start, how the lack of three ball counts he had got into. Probably got into too many today. Got to credit Toronto's lineup. They're a bunch of really good hitters, top, top to bottom, and made them work. Kind of drove the pitch count up. You walk me through the sequence in the fifth, just Poche's walks and then the error with Lau. Uh, yeah, it looked like, you know, Colin had just. It, 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 he couldn't reset himself got behind uh and then just couldn't find the the strike zone and then unfortunate right there i don't know if brandon lost the ball um i'm really not sure but um everything just kind of didn't go our way that inning 13 and one isn't too shabby can you talk about just the the first 13 wins of the season how much fun that was for you and yeah a lot of fun excited for the guys um you know just really impressed the way they went about it and very confident that that they'll be good to go tomorrow what did yesterday's game make managing today with the way you had to sort of use your bullpen and not having an off day in between the series and all that? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I mean, we, we, we really prioritized trying to do right by the guys, protect the guys. Um, and then when Springsy comes out of the game early, you know you're going to be a little bit tacked. So we were, uh, but I really give Yanni a lot of credit. He, he just kind of reset us today with um, his performance. It was a really strong performance, held it right there. And, you know, we, we had some close opportunities to get within, you know, striking distance. Right, you like- could have gone on runs that you've been on. They've come out after it and they've gone a little little bit of slumps, uh, kind of set back a little bit. Do you have to say something or is it? Uh- yeah, I don't know what you're referring to but no i wouldn't say anything other than way to go to the guys i feel like a little bit like you didn't get a situation where you got that big hit where earlier in the streak you were getting that big hit when you had a couple guys on or yeah i mean but look barrios he, he was good and so we didn't have a lot of guys on we got a couple guys on when the bullpen came in uh you know i think we were one batter away to get in the tying run to the plate at six to three right. um so it, we just not much went our way tonight Back picked by Bethancourt that also led to a run right with two outs. I don't think that led to a run. Yeah, well, KK went to second and then he scored on a hit, right? Uh, we ended up walking. We ended up walking Springer. Uh, yeah, so. Either way, but it just, I guess it would seem like you did have some some plays tonight that you weren't making, or you were making plays you weren't making tonight, kind of thing. Maybe it was a sloppier game than you played. Oh, yeah, I, that's fair. Yeah. Kevin, what Mayberry is good today? Um, you know what? He. he pitched away with the fastball a lot we've seen him do both we've seen him run balls in on righties pitch pitch away to righties today he was predominantly away uh and the changeup seemed like an equalizer to a lot of the lefties that we put in he had a good feel for his changeup you mentioned yanni he stepped in and gave you a yeah he was wanted. huge for us i mean at that point six one game we just want to preserve pitching and, and see if the offense can get can get going and he did in terms of tomorrow, do you have a plan in terms of who started? Colin Poche will will start the game. Maybe not at this moment, but to still be able to appreciate the streak you guys had. Oh, no doubt. I'm appreciating it right now. I'm <laughs> really <laughs> impressed by what I just watched for two weeks. That's when you're talking about a team from what year, Hannah? 1884. <laughs> you're doing something pretty cool. So uh, I'm very, very impressed. They weren't? Tell them. The one-year league. They were owned by the guy who founded the league. He stacked the team. They went 91, 19, and one or something. So, <laughs> yeah, see, damn, we should try that next yeah. year. <laughs> Kevin, you, you had, I don't think you had a sort of certainty before the game on, on Springs. Is there any? Sort of no, more? no, no update on him. Uh, look, it's a weekend. We'll have some clarity. We talked about the getting some opinions, getting, putting doctors' heads together. Our training staff. Um, but I'm confident he, he's not going to be on the mound anytime soon for us. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, that's a good lineup for starters, but you know, it's just one of those things missing middle or, or not in the zone at all. And, and I mean, as a starting jo- uh, pitcher, your job is to, you know, set the tone for the team and four walks and four innings just isn't going to do that. It was uncompetitive and, and definitely frustrating. That's for sure. In terms of just uncharacteristic, this mm-hmm. team doesn't really walk hitters. They don't really commit errors. Does that kind of tell the story of how this one went south tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things, like you said, we don't walk guys, we don't commit errors, and, and it's it's unfortunate the way we came out today. And, and like I said, it, it's my job to set the tone, and, and, and so that falls on me, you know. Um, you know, just just 
the the lack of competitiveness, like I said, four four walks and four innings just can't happen, and 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 it, it's just a, a frustrating way. But you know, it's one of those things that this team was on such a good streak, and and you know, all, all I had to do was fill it up and 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 and, and trust our defense, and, and I was unable to execute that tonight. Can you put the streak just in perspective for me? Because not many teams have started thirteen and zero, and thirteen and one isn't too bad. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Losing still sucks. Um, you know, it's one of those things that uh, uh, just the way we lost, you know, is, is a little bit frustrating. And, and um, but yeah, this the streak was incredible to get off to such a good start. You know, we're we're in a good a good spot still, and and I'm excited to see us come out tomorrow and and, and see the edge we play with, and and just you know how competitive we can be against these guys. As far as your your command, was there anything specific you think that was off? Or? Uh, I mean. Everything I feel like you know I looked up at one point and, and was throwing less than a th- uh, two thirds strikes. You know you just can't do that and not not at this level. Um, you know it's one of those things that uh, didn't throw very many first pitch strikes. Didn't didn't fill up the zone uh, early in counts and, and then you get into bad counts and you sit there and you wonder why you know hits are happening and and, and you know hard contacts being made and, and I mean there is no secrets. You know if you fill it up early hitters hitters have to start honoring your stuff and and I didn't do that. It's embarrassing, to be honest, you know. Um, Rass pitched great, gave us a chance to win, just like he does every time he's out there. And, you know, at that point, we're only down by one. And, um, you know, obviously, you just you got to throw the ball over the plate, man. You got to at least give your guys a chance. And, uh, you know, I didn't do that today. And so I think that's the most frustrating part is, you know, they didn't beat me. It was all self-inflicted. And so I think that's probably the toughest part is, is definitely letting, you know, Rass down when a starting pitcher comes out or any, any reliever, anybody leaves those guys on base, they look to the bullpen to, you know, lock that down and not let those runs in. And, you know, the last couple of times I've been out there, I haven't been able to do that. Did it feel like a pretty uncharacteristic night given the walks and given the errors? This team doesn't really do that. They haven't done it much this season. Um, you know, it, it's uncharacteristic for the start of the year, but um, I guess that's just the way baseball goes. You know, we're not going to play – clean airless baseball all day um you know i thought rass he maybe had a few walks but i thought he competed well and, and threw enough strikes to uh you know at least the walks were competitive where he was kind of battling out at bats and um that didn't carry over to me you know uh one strike in your nine pitches is just it's just not competitive and uh, i think that's the most disappointing part was it was it something like was it physical did you feel okay or was it just like not being able to zone in or would you have any thought initial thought on what happened um just i guess the feel just didn't have a good feel for where my pitches were going you know snyder came out to the mound and kind of pointed a few mechanical cues out and that kind of got me back on track um i don't know if that was so much physical as a mental reset maybe but um just just didn't have the release point today right you had the homer the other day was it any carryover you think or no i don't think so you know um coaches are, are good at letting us know that our stuff plays our stuff is plays in the zone um you know the home run the other day was a fastball elevated that's my pitch you know i'll take my chances on that pitch um i'd have loved to throw you know eight or nine of those pitches tonight and just take my chances to see what happens but uh you know just throwing everything below the zone and just not competing can you can you maybe not at this moment but still appreciate the streak you guys had yeah absolutely i mean thir- 13 wins in a row at any point of the year is, is pretty hard in baseball. Um, you know, no matter the opponent, no matter the circumstances, it's just a hard game. So it's pretty special what we've done. Um, obviously today's disappointing, but you know, back out there tomorrow. So take today to kind of mull it over and, and refresh tomorrow and reset. Thanks, so. Yeah, we just didn't make a play. Um, kind of got out of hand on us there. It's uh, it sucks. You know, kind of looking back on it, it might have led to ultimately losing the game today. But you know what? It's it happened. Time to move past it and uh, come play tomorrow. In terms of this team, the errors, the walks, it just hasn't been there. The first, you know, 13 games of the season. How frustrating was it to see those surface tonight? Yeah, I mean, you never you never want those to happen. You know, if if uh, this is a perfect world, you'd never make an error and you never lose a game. Uh, it's just it's not like that. You know, you're, you're going to make errors throughout the year. You're going to struggle on the mound with, with control. It's just it's, it's stuff that happens, you know, and uh, I'm sure Raz can tell you that that's not going to happen again, and 
I believe that he'll do everything in his power to do it. And I'll tell you that I'll never make an error again, and you know it's probably going to happen. So it it sucks it happened in the midst of it, everything that was going on, but you know it happened. It's done. We got 140 plus more games to play. Let's not dwell on one loss. You go back to that play for a second. Was the throw just behind you a little bit, or it just got away? A um, whole mix of different things. It's something that needs to get made. I assume you can still, maybe not at this moment, but still appreciate what you guys did in winning the first 13. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, 13 straight, winning, winning the way that we did, um, you know, it's great. I think uh, probably everyone knew that 162-0 and was probably out of the question. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was a great run. Uh, best thing about losing a streak is you get to start a new one. So we're ready to show up tomorrow and start a new streak. Did it feel like to see Kevin Kiermeyer across the diamond in a different uniform? Uh, I felt weird. You know, it's he he's uh, fitting in great with the new team. He's swinging it well, which is great. Uh, you'd love to see it for for a guy that is a, as good of a person as he is. Uh, it's just it's weird to see him in a different color blue. But you know, it's we everybody in this clubhouse wishes nothing but the best for him, and uh, it's good to see him have success. Not so much great to see it against us, but. You know, uh, it's always fun to play with or against him. Does losing feel worse or less bad when it comes for the first time, I guess, 14 games into the season? Uh, losing always sucks. There's no loss that feels any worse or better than any other ones. I feel like you kind of put them all in the same kind of category. You know, every win is great. Every loss is terrible. So 